Hey, what up guys? This is Kutta and this is going to be a tutorial on how to get rid of lag and ping spikes with the flex QoS method. So let's get started. So first you're going to need to go to adaptive QoS. And you're going to go to the QoS tab. And then you're going to make sure adaptive QoS is on before you do this. Once you have it applied, make sure you go to customize and make sure you have gaming at top video and audio streaming. Second, others is third web surfing fourth, then work from home, learn from home and then file transferring. And then once you you're done, just hit save. Then hit apply. Now you're going to go to the administration tab in the advanced settings. And you're going to click on system. And you're going to go where it says enable JFF, JFFS custom scripts and configs. You want to have this set to yes. And then scroll down and you're going to go to where it says enable SSH. And you want to set that to LAN only. And you're going to hit apply. After that's done and applied, you're going to open up an SSH uh, client. I'm going to use PuTTY for Windows. So what you're going to do is that you're going to type in your default gateway IP and the port, which is default to 22. But since uh, I changed it to 25, I'm going to put 25. So we're going to hit open. And then you'll have this console up right here. So what you're going to do is that you're going to sign in. All right, once you're logged in, you'll be right here. And what you're going to do is go into the description and you're going to copy and paste the Flex QoS uh, code that I put in the description. Just press enter. Then it'll install it. Then it will say, would you like to restart your QoS for modifications to take effect? What you're going to do is you're going to press one and hit enter. Then it will restart your QoS and firewall, then we're done. And you basically can close out of your SSH client. Now just head on to the adaptive QoS tab. And then you will have another tab that will say flex QoS. So click on that tab. Now from here, it will show all the, the graphs, your download and upload uh, rates basically going live or just automatically refreshed every whatever second right here what you're going to do is that you can hit customize and you want to make sure your qos mode is set to fq codal you want to if you knew about my other tutorial you know how to set the wan packet overhead so just set that to what you want if you don't know just put conservative default and what you're going to do is that where it says add well-known ip tables rule what you're going to do is that you're gonna go and hit gaming role. And then you'll see that you have an IP table that is created. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna delete the IP that it set. And then you're gonna set the protocol to UDP. And then from there, you're just gonna hit apply. And basically all the other settings, you can leave as default or you can change to whatever you want under the bandwidth. Uh, uh, page right here so just do that with your own preference but yeah that's basically it once you hit apply it's basically done and you're, you're set and ready to go if you have any issues just leave a comment and also leave a like